As the lockdown eases around the country, we can finally head out again. And this is legit the first time we're heading out on two wheels. The bikes we've chosen today are these. The Hero X-Pulse 200, the Royal Enfield Himalayan and the KTM 390 Adventure. These are the most affordable ways to get your fill of adventure post-lockdown. Hell, this one even has adventure in its name. Before we continue, here's a quick announcement. We're giving away this cool Fast Bikes India t-shirt from our merchandise line with 100 kmph. Watch this video till the end and let us know which large capacity motorcycle Abhishek compares the KTM 390 Adventure to. Drop your answers in the comment section below. Pulse won IMOT last year and there's good reason for that. CS Santosh and the Hero Motorsports R&D has gone into the development of this bike. When Abhishek rode it at CS Santosh's Big Rock Dirt Park last year, he was so impressed with it that he came back and put his own money on an X-Pulse. The X-Pulse, it reminds you of that bicycle you had in your childhood with training wheels. And the training wheels are actually its chassis. It's extremely lightweight and extremely balanced. It's very noob friendly, both when you're on a trail and on your wallet. The X-Pulse's strong points have to be its suspension. It's really well tuned for off-road riding and the engine along with its short gearing makes it easy to ride off-road as well. The X-Pulse as a motorcycle gives you a lot of confidence to push your boundaries and explore those fears that you have about riding off-road. And once you've conquered those fears, you can actually spend 38,000 rupees and slap on the rally kit. So you get better suspension, a taller seat, new tyres and it makes it a more hardcore off-roader. Hero even deploys this bike in some of its rallies, so it's got proper motorsport credentials. The only drawback of the X-Pulse is probably that the engine runs out of breath a little bit on the highway. Unbeatable on the trails? Yes, but don't forget that at some point in time you are going to have to take the roads and that's exactly where the Himalayan comes in. Stretch your budget a bit, get yourself a gym membership and then you'll be able to go tailbagging on the Himalayan as well. In the latest BS6 guys, it gets more refined than ever but there's also this party trick right here, switchable ABS. The Himalayan has been getting better with age. From day one Royal Enfield has been working hard on this bike. The latest gen, the BS6 right here with us, it's so good that we would not mind recommending it to our friends even. It probably brings the best of both worlds here, off-road riding and weekend getaways. The ergos here are so good that not even BMW manages to get close with the G310 GS despite its off-road pedigree. The long stroke engine again is a gem when you are heading out on the trails or even on the highways. The Himalayan packs in much required low down grunt which is so important here on the trails and even on the highways. The suspension travel is more than enough and so is the ground clearance. The Himalayan then is probably the next big thing if you can stretch your budget a bit say by an extra 80,000 rupees over the x -Pulse. But what if you wanted even more? If you can stretch your budget by one and a half lakh rupees you can get yourself one of these. The 390 Adventure. When I rode it back in January, I thought it was the ideal motorcycle for our conditions. And there is a reason behind that. When we asked our viewers for their opinion on the 390 Adventure, we got a lot of complaints. Some said there are no spoke wheels, some said the ground clearance is low, and some said it doesn't have a beak. But let me tell you, the 390 always had its intentions very clear. It was meant to get from point A to point B in the fastest way possible.
The 390 Adventure then is a soft roader. Think of it as a shrunken down version of the Ducati Multistrada 950, which is our favorite ADV for the road. It also gets a quick shifter which allows you to cruise comfortably on the highway. You can simply rest your left wrist and pass that oversized truck very easily. The TFT display on the 390 shows you directions like on Google Maps. You can even control your music on the go. And if you feel like you can hit the trails on weekends like we are doing today. Isn't that the idea of an ideal motorcycle for India? You know, Abhishek, spending the day out here with the X-Pulse like, actually made me understand why you put your own money on it, why you bought it. It's light on your wallet and it's light on its feet. It's such an easy, fun bike to off-road in. On a trail like this, on a weekend out, it's just so much fun. It's unbeatable. I know, right? But the long ride back home is going to be so much more fun on the Himalayan. That engine is a gem. It's so tractable that you can simply relax and enjoy the wind in your hair experience. Well, not in our case, but yeah, Rishi can do that. I genuinely love the Himalayan, no second thoughts about that. But the 390 Adventure, it's more my kind of bike. It's great on the highways, it's super quick. I think it'll really do well on a racetrack even. And if you're someone like Rishi, you can even pop a wheelie or two. Now we cannot really compare them as we said earlier. You see, the price points are way too different. In fact, you'll be spending as much money as those two bikes combined on this one. What we can tell you is that all these three bikes, they have their own unique character and you can't go wrong with any of them. What matters is what you want from your motorcycle and where on the ladder, does your wallet allow you to stand? Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.